Hey, math wizards. Can you believe we finished our math book already? That's amazing. We've done so much great work in math. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change things up a little bit and we are going to start to do some FSA, FSA math review to refresh our skills that we've learned all year because we've learned so much. So what you should have is your FSA practice test. Your FSA. It should be in your ninja folder and we are going to use form A. I'm going to screen share so you can see it. Okay. There's two practice tests in there. They look exactly the same. They just have different numbers. So make sure you're on form A. We're gonna go through some questions today, some questions tomorrow, and then the next day you'll do some on your own and then you'll come back and check just like if it was a regular test review, how you always do that. Okay, so make sure you are on form A in your Ninja folder. Okay. So we're just gonna do these problems together. I might pause and let you try to figure it out, but we're gonna just um, go through some of these questions together. How many square units is the total area of the gray shape if each square represents one square unit? I know it's kind of hard to see, but let's, <laughs> I only see, let's see, I see gray here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We'll just say 13. Okay, so this is how we bubble this in. 13 is one and then three, okay? So you have to make sure you bubble in the right numbers. These symbols are for when there's a fraction. So we'll get to that in a little bit. Don't worry about this now. This is for fractions, otherwise, 13, we would bubble in one, three, okay? Just like when we read, we start from left and we go to the right. In which number, in which equation is missing the number seven? Again, this is why you need to know your multiplication facts. Which one? Seven divided by five is four? No. 36 divided by seven is six? No, because I know six times six is 36. Question mark times six is 30. No, five times six is 30. Six times seven is 42. So you really should be practicing those multiplication facts because if you know how to multiply, you also know how to divide. We talked about that a while ago. Okay. Which fraction of the whole is gray? Which fraction of the whole is white? So before we do that, gray pieces, one, two, three, four, there's five. And remember our denominator is how many pieces are all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five eighths is gray. One, two, three eighths, because there's eight all together is white. That should have been pretty easy. All right, number four, Denisha needs to be at her scout meeting by 6.30. So she needs to be there by 6.30. It takes her 20 minutes to ride her bike to the meeting, 15 minutes to eat dinner, and 35 minutes to do her homework. She will do her homework before she eats dinner. What time does Denisha, or Daisha, sorry, need to start her homework? So we need to get to 6.30. 6.30 is our latest. What are we going to do? We're gonna add up our minutes to see how many minutes altogether she needs before. So we have 20, 15, and 35, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, so 70 minutes. She's got 70 minutes that she needs to, we need to come back from. And I know 70 minutes is how many hours? One hour, because one hour is 60 minutes. So that's one hour and then 60 plus the 10. So I need to go back one hour and 10 minutes from 6.30. What you get? 
6.30. One hour back is 5.30. And then 30 minutes less would make it 5.20. Okay. Hopefully that was, again, this is all review stuff. We've done all of these skills. So we just want to refresh on how to solve the problems. Draw and shade a rectangle to show three fourths. Explain how you know you have the color of the correct parts of the picture. So three fourths. That four tells me four pieces all together. And my numerator three tells me three pieces are shaded. There's many ways to do this. You could do it with a circle. You could do it with a squid. You don't have to do all these examples. I'm just showing you that there's multiple ways to do three fourths. The important thing you remember is that four is our denominator that tells me all together. And three is my numerator is telling me how to shade. All right, we are going to mark out number six. So mark out six and move on to seven. Explain why this figure is a quadrilateral, but not a parallelogram. We did geometry a while ago, so this is good, good um, practice. It is a quadrilateral because it's four sides. Remember that prefix means four, like four, four quarters and a dollar. It's not a parallelogram. Do you remember what a parallelogram is? All sides must be parallel. Do you remember parallel? They never cross, they never intersect. So if we draw our lines, imaginary lines, those are parallel because they just keep going straight. They're never gonna cross. However, if we draw imaginary lines on the two sides, they will eventually cross. So that is why it is not a parallelogram. You can just draw the picture. Okay? Because the lines will eventually cross. I always remember parallel because of the two L's in the word. They never cross, they are parallel. And those are parallel lines. Okay, Steve is building a fence. On his first day, he built two sixths of a fence. The second day, he built three sixths of a fence. How many one sixths, it's hard to say, of the fence still needs to be built? So we need to know how much is left over. So he built two sixths and three sixths. So we would add those two together and we would get so if he had a fence, okay, and that's in sixths. First day he built two sixths, then he built three sixths. How much does he have left over to build? Just one sixth. Drawing pictures helps. So this is where we have our fraction thing. So we have one sixth, looks like this, right? So we would color in one, and then we would bubble the fraction symbol, and then we would bubble in six. That's how you'll see it on Goofy, but I didn't write the test. Okay. Let's look at number nine. Draw a shape that contains a right angle, have fewer sides than a quadrilateral, fewer sides. Oh boy, did we freeze again? Oh no. Let's see if I can get it to work. If not, I'll just have to do two, two parts of the video, which is fine. All right, let me try one more thing. I cannot minimize Zoom. Okay. Sorry, this is not a good time to do this, huh? All right, so I'll just come back. We'll just have two parts of the video. See you in a minute. We're gonna do 9, 10, 11, and 12 next.